Hey guys, KJ here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous week. Um, okay, y'all, today I'm gonna be drinking this organic juice from Lidl's. I'm trying to be a little bit healthier, but this has ginger, it's a ginger lemon shot in apple juice. So it should taste pretty um, good. I'm trying to drink like more water and I've started drinking those kabuchas. Have y'all ever had those? It kind of it kind of doesn't smell that good in my honest opinion, but they say it's really good. It's like a probiotic, but I'm just gonna pour this in here and we'll see how this tastes. Mm, you can really smell the lemon in here. Okay, let's see. Mm, okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so guys, we don't have a question of the day today. I have more of like a saying. My aunt sent this to me because I was on the phone with my aunt telling her about like two friends that I have that are like a little bit, they're a little shady, some of them. Like, like you, I don't even want to get into the whole situation, but one situation, it's where somebody's pretending to be a friend. They're asking you questions, um, but at the same time, you kind of, kind of understand that they're not really just asking just to see how you're doing. They're kind of asking so that they can kind of get ahead of you, even though I, I didn't know that person was doing that. I wasn't playing that game and apparently I missed the memo. So I was telling my aunt about this and she sent me um, this saying and it says, everybody isn't your friend. Just because they hang around you and laugh with you doesn't mean they're your friend. People, people pretend well. At the end of the day, real situations expose fake friends. So pay attention. So guys, that's not really, a, I usually do like a question of the day. It's not the question of the day. It's just like something to think about. Like people who are the closest to you sometimes are not your friends. Sometimes they don't even have your best interest at heart. And sometimes they're in like an imaginary competition with you. And you you don't even know you're in a competition. Like how strange and crazy is that? But anywho, y'all, I'm going to adjust this. Um, really. Okay, so I had to, um, I wanted the Hermes Egeri sandal, I think it's called Egeri. I think it's Egeri though. But anyway, I was looking at those sandals online and these sandals came in black, a turquoise and like a cobalt blue. And I decided to get the black because I was like, it can go with anything. It's a neutral, whatever. And I think these are great because they're kind of understated. So if you do not want somebody to know that you're wearing designer, this is the way to go. But then there are people who are like, why would I pay so much money for an item that doesn't show that I'm wearing designer? So whichever school that you're in, I think it was a good purchase, but I saw a TikTok y'all. And well, let me back up. This is my second time ordering these, okay? The first time I ordered a size 37 because I have a, size, a shoe size uh, seven and they came in and they were too small. So I went up a size, which a few videos on YouTube did say to go up a size, but I was like, oh, I don't need to go up a size. I'm always a 37, it'll be fine. And it wasn't. So this is my second time ordering it. While I was waiting for these um, shoes to be shipped, I saw a TikTok and on the TikTok, they were saying that Rainbow had a dupe of these shoes for $10. And I was like, hmm. I said, I'm always okay with saving money. You know, if it's if it's very similar, let me go find out. So I went on to Rainbow and I saw the shoes. Um, but of course you had to spend like 70 something dollars. I ordered some shoes and I only kept three pair of them, okay? And I'm gonna show you, let me just show y'all these two pairs of shoes real quick, y'all. They had these sandals in a bunch of different colors, okay? If you go on Rainbow, these are $10 now. They are gorgeous on the foot. And at the end of this video, I will try to insert a picture or video of me putting these shoes on, but they come in, of course, this white and this beautiful blue color. Um, I also ordered them in pink, but the pink didn't ship yet. Uh, they have silver, gold, tan, beautiful colors. And for $10, y'all, with the rubber bottom and a little bit of a little bit of a height there and the right here is really soft. For 10 bucks, you can't beat these. And my mom also ordered a bunch when she saw these. She ordered like one in every color because for $10, a white pair of sandals that still look kind of elegant, you you really, you really can't beat that. So anyway, so I ordered these from Rainbow, okay? So these were the Hermes sandal dupe that I purchased from Rainbow. And y'all, I have yet to do a side-by-side. -side. Like I tried these on and I tried the 37 in the Hermes, but I have not seen these two items side by side to even say like are 
are these similar enough for me to not keep these um my plan i'm i'm hoping that they these will you know cut it but i don't know um we'll see okay so here are the ones from rainbow and let's get into the unboxing of the ones from hermes okay so this is what it looks like when it came in the mail y'all it comes in a white box you wouldn't even know it doesn't have any like thing that says hermes it doesn't you it just you would never know so when i got the box i thought it was something from amazon that i ordered so i ripped through this box like a I like i don't know caveman cave woman and so when i noticed it was the orange box inside i was like oh. i was like oops i didn't mean to do that i did not mean to rip open that box like that okay because they do say if you want to return it everything must be included like your box must be intact the ribbon all that stuff you, when you send it back because i sent the 37 back all that stuff had to be included i don't know what would happen if they if you don't include all the packaging exactly how it was shipped i don't know if they would deduct something from your refund i'm not sure and apparently they come out with a pair of these um these types of sandals like a jelly sandal every summer so let's get into it y'all okay let's turn it this way can you see it that way all right so they come like so and i love how each shoe even though it's plastic they have a dust bag for each shoe and honestly the quality of the dust bag is ridiculous like if you were somebody who knows how to sew you could easily sew like a zipper here and turn this into a cute little pouch of some sort i don't know but so cute i love it i love the bags already okay so here we go i'm gonna open this take the sandals out so it looks like so and then I'm going to open this one as well. Okay. So they pretty much look the same, but we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay. So for starters, the logo on this sandal, and this is, I think these are called the Eggery. Egg Egg so it's embossed. So you're not going to be able to, you know how like, Sometimes the brand is on the bottom of the sandal and it wears off over time. This is not going to wear off anytime soon because it's pretty much embossed into the sandal. Um, on the back as well, everything is embossed onto there. And it says Hermes, the size 38. And it says made in Italy at the bottom of the sandal. Um, so, so far, okay, I'm going to hold up these sandals really quickly. So far, one of the major differences that stand out to me is that the one from Rainbow, this is the dupe right here, is a black matte all the way around. Whereas the one from Hermes is has like a shiny piece, a patent piece here, and then the rest is almost like a matte. But as you can see, there's a bit more shine to the Hermes one, okay? This one's a little dull looking, okay, compared to the Hermes. And it's almost like just a natural shine but it's not so shiny that it looks cheesy. It's almost like a shine. Um, it just kind of, the quality of it looks really, really good already. Okay. Um, another thing I'm noticing already is look how this shoe is kind of like, it's kind of like curling up a little bit. Whereas the Hermes one is staying straight. I don't know if y'all can see that on camera. The Hermes is flat. Whereas this one kind of curves up. So it's already curving up before I was even able to put it on my foot um, and wear it. So if it's doing that nail new, mm, it might start curving up a little bit more as you get to wear them. Another thing I'm kind of noticing is the bottom of the shoe, okay? Um, the bottom of these rainbow shoes, it has this piece right here. Like, you know when you get like a pair of cheap flip-flops, they have that little part that the thong connects to. And over time, this piece can kind of move and jiggle about. Um, so that's one thing that the Hermes sandal does not have. It's just flat so that there's no fear that this piece right here will ever come out. And another thing I'm noticing immediately is the thickness of the shoe okay so here you go this is the one from rainbow okay and this is the one from hermes okay you can see the one at the bottom from rainbow is like one layer thick whereas hermes has one layer here and then a bottom layer there so there's like two layers so there will be a lot more support with the hermes ones and y'all like now that i'm looking at these side by side 
<sighs> I really thought I was going to return these Hermes ones, but I'm really, I'm really not sure at this point because of, um, the, the quality, you know, the way that these look, I think these are good. Um, if you don't want a lot of attention with your shoes, because nobody, if you don't know, you would not know that these are, are Hermes. Now, if you know, you know, okay. So that's kind of like a silent, um, not a silent designer, but it, it's not a very um, loud design, okay? It's not in your face, okay? Um, so, honestly, these are probably good for $10. Like, and look how they're bending. Oh, my. That's a, I mean, honestly, you can just bend them straight back. That's not really good. And, like, for me, I get calluses on the bottom of my foot easily in the summer. So, if there's a lot of rubbing or the shoe doesn't have a lot of support, these could really probably tear up your foot over time. I don't know. These are probably good if you know you're going to go to the pool and the beach in these things and you don't care what happens to them, you just kind of toss them around, then these are probably good. The Hermes ones, I honestly can see, these are great, okay? Um, I'm actually, look, you can even hear like, like the thickness. You hear that? Let, let me try with this one. Okay, a lot different, right, in the sound of it. Um, these Hermes ones are honestly good if you live in a warm weather climate or you travel a lot, you're on vacation a lot. I think these will come in handy because I think the way these look, these are classy enough, even though they're made out of plastic, they're classy enough to actually kind of dress up a little bit. Um, so that's probably how they're justifying the price point and the fact that honestly, they feel like rubber, but when you look at them, they really don't really look like rubber. They almost can almost pass. Honestly, if you had it at, on the ground, they probably could pass for a leather shoe. Um, so that's probably how they're justifying that price point. But love the details of this, guys. And I'm really confused. Like, should I keep the ones from Rainbow or should I send back the ones from Hermes or should I keep these? I just don't know because they both have different different purposes like these you don't care what happens it's ten dollars um these would i be wearing these to the pool probably not would i wear them to the beach no not really but will i wear them grocery store casual yeah and i think they would look really really pretty and honestly they said they come out with a style of these sandals every year um they had the blue and the the was it the no they had like a tar no was it turquoise a aqua color and then like a cobalt blue these would look really good if they had a orange color and also a pink color would look really, really good. I don't think they had the, that color last year. Maybe Hermes will make it, you know, who knows? Um, and it probably sell really, really quickly. But y'all, let me know. Help me out. Like, what should I do? Comment in the box below letting me know which ones I should keep, okay? Um, and then I will insert a picture of me trying these on right now. Okay, guys, so let me know what you guys think I should do. I'm really confused. I'm really torn. Should we go bougie or should we are bougie or should we be on the budget? Let me know what you guys think in the box below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.